Ox County voters have chosen Republican Glenn Jacobs to serve another term as mayor. He defeated Democratic challenger Debbie Helsley. He's up early with us to talk about the win and what to expect in the next four years. Mayor Jacobs, good to see you. Thanks for coming on with us this morning. We know you had a late night. How are you feeling about the win last night? Feeling great. Thank you for having me on this morning. That is wonderful to hear. Now you have promised time and time again to fight any proposed tax increase for the county. So what are some of the other issues that you plan to focus on in your second term here? Well, when we look at our land use and the housing crisis that the county's in, that's something that we're really focused on. We have an initiative called Advance Knox, uh, which is designed to really revamp our land use policies, which haven't been looked at and updated in over 20 years. That's really important, as well as the global economy is changing. It's really an innovation driven economy. So how do we align our workforce, our education system, everything that we're doing with the global economy so that we can remain competitive and do even better when we're competing in that economy? Mayor, people all over the country have been through a lot in the past two years. We're dealing with high inflation, gas, groceries, housing. How will you help Knox County residents navigate all of this as we potentially head toward a recession? <laughs> Well, I think the most important thing is keeping taxes low. We don't want to add another financial burden on the people of Knox County, as well as ensuring that we have plenty of good jobs here. I think the labor market is going to tighten up quite a bit going forward because of the recession. Uh, so conservative principles work, uh, especially fiscally conservative principles, and that's what I'm all about. Mayor, we do want to touch on this. A newly released report shows opioids and drug addiction are killing more people in Knox County than in years past with fentanyl as the lead killer. So what specifically do you plan on doing to bring those numbers down? Well, when I first came into office, we launched the All for Knox initiative, which is a community wide uh, program and alliance uh, to address this issue. This is happening all over the country and uh, you know, we're seeing fentanyl come in through the southern border. Uh, it's it's very deadly, uh, worse than anything we've ever seen before. And apparently there's even worse designer drugs coming online. Um, you know, the, the opioid uh, and, and mental health epidemics are both uh, top of mind for everyone. I'm very glad that here in Knox County, we have more mental health services coming online uh, over the past couple of weeks. Two new behavioral health hospitals have opened up, as well as we're working with the city, McNabb Center, and the state on our own uh, mental health facility at the old St. Mary's complex. Uh, so there are a lot of things happening. Unfortunately, that's a, a big problem and probably the biggest negative issue that we face here in Knox County. Mayor, is there anything else that you want to say to Knox County residents about the next four years for you in office? I'd actually like to talk about today. Uh, today is school mania over at Chilhowee Park from 3 to 6 p.m. Uh, and we'll be giving away free school supplies to Knox County students. So that's a 3, 3 to 6 p.m. at Chilhowee Park. And you know, this is the best place in the world to live, to work, plan to raise a family. And over the next four years, we're going to come even better. So no time off for you. You're getting right <laughs> like back to work. work today. All right, thank you so much <laughs> for taking the time to be with us this morning and yeah. congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor. And we do have to take a quick, quick break. But